During the turbulent months following the Park Geun-hye administration's shocking power abuse scandal, diplomatic activities came to a virtual standstill. To tackle foreign affairs issues that's been piling up ever since, President Moon Jae-in is sending special envoys to several key countries. Shin Se-min has our top story. Two of five special envoys of South Korean President Moon Jae-in departed on Wednesday to partner countries to discuss pending issues and possible summits with the new tenant of South Korea's presidential office of Chawade. President Moon's special envoy to Japan, Moon Hee-sang, who left for Tokyo earlier in the day, met with Japanese Foreign Minister Fumio Kishida Wednesday afternoon, during which the South Korean lawmaker made clear that most of the Korean public cannot accept the Seoul-Tokyo agreement over the South Korean victims of imperial Japan's wartime sex slavery struck in December 2015. We can't carry on with an agreement that nearly all of the Korean people cannot accept. The presidential envoy is also reported to have proposed that the two countries wisely overcome the problem based on statements of apology released by previous Japanese prime ministers. Japan's top diplomat is not reported to have made any comments regarding Moon's remarks. Seoul's special envoy and Kashida did, however, see eye to eye on the need to work together to resolve North Korea's nuclear problem and focus on future-oriented relationship between the neighboring countries. Off to Washington is Hong suk hyun the current chair of the Korean Peninsula Forum think tank and a former ambassador to the U.S. Although President Moon Jae-in agreed to hold a summit with his U.S. counterpart Donald Trump in June, the two sides still need to polish some rough edges in matters such as a way to stop North Korea's provocations, determine defense cost sharing, and even discuss a potential renegotiation of their free trade deal. Because I'm traveling as the president's special envoy, I work based on his directives. The key to this trip will be reaffirming the South Korea-U.S. alliance and holding in-depth discussions on how to resolve North Korea's nuclear issue. President Moon's envoy to China will depart on Thursday, and the remaining delegates to Russia and the European Union will follow suit next week. And the dispatch of such special envoys is of vital importance to establish a sound base on foreign alliances in the new administration. The uh, foremost important thing we have to do is to let them know what the new government's idea is about, the policy is about. That's the starting point, that two countries can find the differences. But just knowing what the President Moon's uh, foreign policy direction is about is something that they need to know first so that we can fill up the gap and differences in our relationship with uh, the U.S. and China and so on and so forth. With the first special envoys heading toward their respective destinations, questions linger on whether they can pave the way to solving some of the grave pending issues left by the previous administration. Shin Zemin, Arirang News.